Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. <laughs> What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to a brand new Sony Vegas, well, Sony Vegas, Vegas 14 tutorial rather, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to prevent crashes and freezes, because guys, I want to mention that uh, this program rather, Vegas 14 released, I would say a few weeks ago, a few months ago, unfortunately, I have to tell you guys that, the, that this version still can crash, a lot of people are familiar with crashes from Vegas, uh, Sony Vegas Pro 13, well, unfortunately guys, Vegas 14 can also crash, but there are a few things that you can apply so you will actually prevent crashes and freezes and everything while you're editing, while you're rendering, while you're dragging in footage. I'm gonna name a few things that you can do in order to try to prevent crash. So the first one is actually I made a video, I think it was last year, showing you guys how to prevent crashes and freezes in Vegas 13. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to You see what just happened? Well guys, it's gonna be the same method that's going to be applied in Vegas uh, 14. So basically the first thing that always happens to me when I'm editing, so right here on Sony Vegas, uh, let's say I have like a really busy timeline. I've been editing a video that's like 10 minutes long or 60 FPS, a whole nine yards. And let's say I wanna drag in the next clip of my camera. Basically what happens is when I go over to the folder, I drag something in this can happen it, the screen will turn white there is like an icon that will load and your vegas project crashed and you can you can press Control s as many times as you like to try to save your project if it didn't happen it is too late so basically the, the really awesome thing is when it crashes when you close it down when you restart it usually it will you know ask do you want to load in the auto save project so nine out of ten you didn't lose like your entire project but i would say maybe 30 percent to even more the first thing is is when you want to drag in footage into your timeline do not go ahead and drag in the 60 fps file directly into your timeline i would recommend just go to a file at the top import uh this guy import then you want to click on media and then you want to go straight over to the folder where the actual file is so let's say i'm going to add in this this is just a random picture as you can see right here it just is a warning and then it appears in your project media uh as you can see right here your section and then you want to drag it boom from there into your timeline and you probably nine out of 10, you are saved. So that's one thing to prevent crashes. The next thing is uh, when you are rendering or editing, uh, a video not like specifically like dragging in footage but just editing like let's say you're editing very fast and you press Control s here and there to save your project and it crashes you can go ahead and prevent that by just going to over to options preferences and you want to pick the video tab and right here it is actually a pretty big menu but the only thing you need to pay attention to is gpu acceleration of video processing and you want to change this one from advanced micro devices etc you you want to place this guy to off then you want to click on apply and then when you click on apply it says for one or more of these changes to take effect the application must be shut down and restarted so when you click on ok you want to just press on ok right here as well then you want to kind of go over and restart your vegas that's what i'm going to do right now so i'm going to close out of vegas and when we booted up vegas pro as you can see right here uh, you can just go ahead and start straight with your editing and it shouldn't crash that much anymore. And basically the last tip is always use the command control S. People are also like using their fingers on S and space to, you know, to play the video and to press S is also cutting. So why don't you just go ahead and hold your pinky also on control and then you can just go ahead and press control S and etc. And then it will save your project as you can see right here. So just go while you're editing, press control S. So it, will, so it will be saved and that's the same with this guys so that's how you save your project that's how you avoid crashes and freezes from in vegas 14 is that simple unfortunately it can still crash like most programs so that's it for the video guys thank you guys for liking thank you for subscribing and i will see you guys uh tomorrow for one new audacity tutorial and also one new vegas 14 tutorial on friday so i'll see you guys tomorrow so that's it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom. So thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more content, make sure to click right here. That's it for today. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys tomorrow.